Spooky spooks, spooky 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 sp spooky part is when that camera stays blurry. Hello everyone! Welcome to Creepy Waypoint in the AM. I Little Nightmares was a pretty cool game. I wrote about it last year on Waypoint. A pretty overlooked video game. It was a platformer and it was kind of a horror game. Yeah, I, probably some of the best imagery I saw in a game last year, honestly. So uh, there was a series of DLCs that came out uh, for it uh, last year as well, and I, I was kind of looking for something to play this morning. I was like, hey, that's what streams like this are for. So you can check out Little Nightmares. The looking at what's so spooky about the AM? You gotta get up. It's pretty spooky. Not, you know, it's not spooky sleeping. Actually, sp sleeping is pretty spooky. Especially after you watch a spooky movie. I watched a movie called Veronica, on Netflix last night, from the co-director of Wreck. One of the best found footage movies from like 10 years ago. Veronica was okay. Uh, all right. I think we start the DLC by. Ooh. See, look at this. Look at this. Look at this creepy imagery. Creepy. 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 Less creepy. Creepy eyeball. Look at that. It's, all, it's creepy. I'm invincible in the chat saying I just watched The Ritual on Netflix. Terrific. <laughs> terrific film. Yeah, that's fine. Let me know if the audio is fine. I can mess with that stuff. Because I'm an expert at messing with things. Uh, Alright, here we go. I'm oh, moving. All right. Oh, good. This is why. <laughs> that's why I don't go in lakes. I mean, I do, but I, that's why I, do, I don't like going in lakes. I say lakes because I just don't go in the ocean that much. Oh, look at this! I got this friendly. Um, hi yeah. Pick it up. Toss it. I forget how to crawl. Left trigger? Okay. things with right trigger. Ah, oh, it's that guy. It's the Freddy Krueger doll man. Not, not a big fan of him. Fine, don't listen to my, those little pitter-patters. Go bother someone else. Whoop. What? Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, bad. Gross. <laughs> the 
opening to this though being uh, like pulled underwater just by like something is is one of my great fears. Like just yeah, I'm gonna run away from you. I don't want to be gooped. The sound design in this game is terrific. The art direction, and I might, a lot of my problems with the game, like, mostly had to do with sort of, like, the kind of flimsy controls and, um... Yeah, let's go down there. That seems like a great idea. All right, so I'm gonna have to let it come through, and I'm gonna run. Yep. Okay, hurry. Oh. Oh. Uh, it melted me. Okay. All right. Not great. here no. oh, 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 okay well I tried to time that did I timed it poorly so there's a lot of trial and error uh, in this game there's a lot of trial and error in uh, the original little nightmares which I think uh, was one of its weaknesses it was like I wanted to enjoy its terrific art direction um, more than I wanted to play it, I guess, but is probably an accurate description. being impatient by running ahead and just I should have seen where the shadow went but it was fine we did good good job us I'm sure this will be fine nothing about this seems creepy at all Knife in the chat asking if I played Never Ending Nightmares. Uh, always wanted to. Um, very cool aesthetic. It was a, a game about mental illness uh, by someone um, uh, that uh, has dealt with mental illness. It was like a, a, an interesting horror mediation. But no, I never got around to actually playing it.
Like, a lot of this art reminds me of, you know, if you go back and look at, like, movies like The Dark Crystal, like, those movies aren't as dark and disturbing as something like this, but when you're a kid, you sort of hyperbolize uh, things like that, and I, I remember movies like The Dark Crystal feeling as dark and weird as this. Can I open up this? See ya. Oh. Perfect! Back in the water. Please. I bet I'm not supposed to touch those tin cans. I bet the tin can is... No? I don't think the tin cans are gonna, like, signal the creature. over this handle, uh, just conveniently colored box that looks different than everything else in the environment. The creature design is like a huge part of what I find really interesting about Little Nightmares, uh, which has not been displayed super well yet by, um, the parts that we've seen, but hopefully we'll get a little bit more of. The next step over here is probably where you can find secrets. I'm not... Don't care about your secrets. Care about seeing creepy shit. Heck yeah, flashlight. I'm sure that won't be used against me at all. So I can kind of use the right analog stick to... Hmm. Yeah, let's follow the creepy hand. Okay. Moving, 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 moving. Moving, 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 moving. Oh. I'm bobbing. I'm weaving. Don't. Ah. Oh. Mm. Okay. can't fight back. Can it see? Is it because I had the light? Jump. Jump. <laughs> can, you, can you duck? I mean, can you like slide? I can't remember. Let's try sliding. So we're running, we're running. something settings crouch slide okay no sprint I wasn't sprinting well that would have helped in the previous section Woo. 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 Oh. oh. <laughs> Okay. Bad. <laughs> Get on up. Seems fine. Well, this doesn't seem fine at all. Get out of that water. Oh, 
There's got to be something in that water. Okay. Okay, game. You're just giving me that one. You should just be able to clam her up, right? Oh, there we go. Mm. Okay. Like, at some point, there's just going to be a mysterious hand that pulls me down. This is what happened. This is the... Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, bad. Swim faster. Swim faster. <laughs> uh, <laughs> mm. <laughs> Thank you. Nah, I didn't like that at all. Guy that kind of looks like me. You think it'd be curly hair if you squinted at it? me in these situations where I have endless water underneath me. When in doubt, just randomly turn things on. Oh, I better grab my toilet paper. What have I 
to put it in the t in the bin. Can I get it in there? Maybe if I back off a little bit, get like a little arc on it. No. No. I tried. Should have brought that toilet paper with me. Maybe that's like the gnome in Half-Life 2. Is it a cheap? What? Is it a thing? It's over there. No. That's probably just metal. Just bring the toilet paper with you the whole game. You know they're going to put me through another sequence where I got to run from something in the water and you're just not sure if you're going to make it to the edge. Because I'm about to break. Seems like one. Mm. Okay. So I'm going. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I woke it up. Already. Get up! Get up! Get up! Where did it go? Woo! Oh, I can see it moving. Okay. Woo! 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 Get up! All right, what are we looking at here? Get away. Oh, you're gonna make me do the whole sequence? Mm, don't like it. Not cool game. I'm trying to stay ahead of him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Break on me bridge. Come on. Okay, misjudged it. Thought I was gonna be able to get up there. Thought I was gonna be able to get up there. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> Completely incorrect. Thought I was gonna be able to make it up. Alright, good checkpointing game. Solid. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Alright, so where is it now? It's gonna bump, it's gonna boot me. Oh, come on! Oh! Over. 
it. This thing is here, but it's just it, it does he doesn't go into position to. No 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 no. no! Okay, that's not what I meant to do. Bad. Clearly you can't make that jump. Can I make this? Assuming I gotta, I'm gonna get it, I gotta turn that, oh. Right, okay. Ugh. Was it holding on to it? Maybe it might just stop it. Will that hand grab me? We gotta find out, right? We have to find out. No. Okay, well. Ooh. 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 Fish stuff. I got you. Here we go. Nope. Nope. Aw, oh, son of a... Oh, yep. Hurry! 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 Oh, whoa! the drum frame rate frame rate frame rate I might just go to crap when you walk over that. Gotta be able to bring things with me. Obviously, something to do with that. Uh, a plank. It's just running. Ooh. 
<laughs> with a terrible frame rate. Just hoping it'll be enough. Hmm. Nothing weird about that. Let's just knock that thing over and find out what happens. Hello. Hi. Ah. I need that key. I'm not entirely sure what for yet. Ah, here we go. Oh, just coming on through. Shouldn't be electrified. Let's see what I push this over here. Hmm, I'm not sure. I was I didn't really take a look at the puzzle ahead of time. Zap the whole time? Or just an interval. Zap the whole time. I don't think you can move it far enough that you'd be able to make each leap. Maybe? If I had two of them, I could definitely do it. Which makes me think... Ah, okay. Ta-da! Frame rate is going shit on me. Okay, so like here.
Stop it. I keep doing... <laughs> I keep hitting A thinking I'm gonna jump up higher like an Assassin's Creed. Logan Paul. See you, rat. Oh. Who doesn't want to go in the creepy hole in the shower? I mean, I've got to go. I've got to see what's down there, right? How can you not? Oh, come on, really? You're gonna make me do those jumps again? Ugh, video game. Punishment, punishment. It's a creepy old man! It's not a water creature! This makes it, this makes it a thousand times worse. makes it a thousand times worse. Know where I'm going. Come on, come on, come on. Don't let the creepy old man get you. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, 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 come on. Fuck. that you can see his shoes sometimes. Oh, look at that! Oh! That is BS game. Let me walk around that thing. Let me up on the barrel! I don't like that you can see him come up and uh, eat the fish. <laughs> I don't like it at all. Okay, okay. Okay, old man. Hiya. Get your fish. We swimming, we swimming. We swimming. 
women. Oh, that's extremely close. Hmm. All right, that didn't work out how I wanted. seem to follow the same trajectory. So I guess sometimes maybe you do want to just wait. Let's see what he does. In this part, I can just do whatever. Go get it. You hungry. You a hungry old boy. I think I want to get over to those boards because I'm losing uh, a lot of momentum when I'm trying to j jump off that that ledge. thing. He seems far away. Okay. I'm just going for it. Please start me in the middle. Okay, good. <laughs> immediately. Immediately. Alright, where is he? That's, yeah, okay, he's going right. Head back left. Okay. All right, good, 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 good. She's going to climb out of the water. <laughs> Man, I don't know what is with... Keep down, down, 
the graphics, even keep that frame rate to stop. So oh shit, I probably need to restart the game, but at this point I just wanna. Let's try closing web browsers. Give me my RAM back, Chrome. Drop it onto this thing. <laughs> okay. start this game over. I'm going to hope the frame rate comes back. <laughs> Come back to us, frame rate. We believe in you. So can I push this? No, I can I can only uh, Oh wait, I can't push it. Okay. I think I want to get this in the center and then can I why would you want to mm. you can't climb with objects to bring this into the water. It's two-handed. Alright, so let's just presume that's part of the puzzle. Water doesn't kill you. My guess is you throw it in there, you drain it, you set it back up on that thing.
Where to go? So now it doesn't matter, actually, right? So now you can swim. Bzz. Fuck physics. Fuck physics. Oh my god. Who among us? Yeah, let's just toss this too. Where did it even go? I don't. Where did the physics send it? I think it's just sitting right there. Oh my god. Alright. I'll try and be a little more thoughtful when I do this jump. Thank you. Oh, now I'm gonna have to make it across. Which means I'm gonna have to readjust this bad boy. Right. Okay, that's just a, we're just gonna take that as an L. So I need to get this over. Like, I need to. Uh, I think I'm. Hmm. Let's empty it. So I need it like right here. If I, can I grab it. myself over with the angle of this thing. No, no, no. Okay, here we go. Should have enough. Preferred if it was actually horizontal. That might be good enough. These things are not my favorite part of the game. Let's say. Oh, shoot. No! Bad! Mm. 
Leave me be, old man! over here. excited about this. Took at the wrong angle. I think it should be okay. Hey! Oh! What are you doing? I guess I needed to jump onto that wire. Really wish I didn't have to do this little sequence again. I mean, it is badass watching. Definitely not! <laughs>
Oh, you can push it. Gee golly, Willikers, we figured it out. So a lot of people in the chat are talking about something that I think about a lot when it comes to horror games, is the balance between the game and the horror part. Um, it's like this... When I talk to developers of, of horror games, uh, the worst thing you can do to the horror is having someone repeat a section more than once. Um, you know, ultimately, the goal is for the player to get out by the skin of their teeth and feel like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I almost made it. See how like scenes like this are built that way? But don't necessarily always succeed. Uh, like what they want you to do is to have that like push the TV, push the TV, always gonna get me, always gonna get me. And it works brilliantly once, and then the more you are focusing on the mundane aspects of like, wait, what was I supposed to do? Oh shoot, like I missed that platforming jump. Um, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a really difficult uh, balance. At least we killed that guy. So we'll take that. I wonder if that might signal the end of the DLC, honestly. It, man. Alright, so I think those are the collectibles, which, whatever. Not that interested. Like, it's not to suggest that, like, there aren't great horror video games or that interactivity ultimately ruins horror. It's just like a really difficult balance. I think a lot of games get wrong because a lot of games are... Oh! This ties into the beginning of the game, um, which I guess explains that character and what happened to them. Ah, bummer. So that character in the yellow coat is the main character of the game. And that's going to do it for the first DLC. I want to check out the, the other DLCs. Um, that was pretty good. Like, and honestly, like... Like a bite size, like hour, hour and a half is effing perfect for Little Nightmares. Oh, we made it out. Anyone that is familiar with the DLC, is this just the set? Is this the second DLC now, or is this another chapter of this DLC?
Either way, we're gonna we're gonna call it there. Got some work to do. Got some lunch to eat. Uh, thanks uh, for everyone for for watching. Uh, Creepy in the AM. Uh, I do want to do more horror games, but my life schedule just doesn't always uh, fit those uh, games uh, in. Um, but uh, so there's really interesting conversations happening in the chat about uh, the interactivity of horror games. Um, you can find more uh, about uh, Waypoint. All of our stuff at Waypoint at waypoint.vice.com. You can follow me at Patrick Kulpik. You can follow Waypoint and Danica at Waypoint on Twitter. Uh, you can uh, see all of our, archi uh, our archives where our eyes are, and they're for your eyes, on YouTube at youtube.com slash waypointvice. You can find the archives immediately here at twitch.tv slash waypoint, but those disappear after a certain period of time, so the permanent archives exist over on uh, YouTube. Uh, I have a feature. I think it's live on the site. I don't know, or it's going live soon, uh, in which I spoke uh, with uh, Tommy Refenis. Uh, Refenis? Refenis? Not really sure. Uh, the programmer and uh, co-designer of Super Meat Boy uh, about a him uh, bringing that game full circle eight years later, um, doing one last pass for the game, uh, turning on some features that got broken right after that game launched um, uh, not long before the sequel Super Meat Boy, Super Meat Boy Forever. I can't talk. It's supposed to come out uh, pretty soon from what I understand. So uh, it's a cool piece. Check that out. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya.